Thanks, John, for visiting Bocconi University. It's an absolute honor. Thank you for having me. Delighted to be here. Super. So let me start asking you a question about the yeah. success of LinkedIn. So LinkedIn was created in 2002, uh, was launched in 2003, and in those years, many social media went burst. Uh, instead, not only LinkedIn is still there, but uh, 13,000 employees and 650 million users yeah. all over the world. What is the reason of success? I think we've had a real mission in life. Our mission has been to enable the world's professionals to be more productive and to be more successful. When you think about it, when you join LinkedIn, you get access to jobs, to people, to news, to insights, all of the things that make your, your career more successful. Sure. Over time, we've been able to create a, a fantastic initiative called the Economic Graph. And the Economic Graph is a way that enables governments to better understand talent and skills and helps them to make better policy decisions. But I think we as humans, we're actually very curious. Of course. Humans want to learn more. We're all about self-improvement. So we're about learning new skills, and we're about getting incredible jobs. So where better to learn new skills and to find the job that you're most passionate about than LinkedIn? Before joining LinkedIn in 2015, you worked for other technology operators, and particularly 10 years in Google. So I would like to ask you, what are the characteristics of leadership in a digital corporation? I like to think of three characteristics, collaboration, innovation, and agility. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, when you put the three together, you create trust for the organization. So collaboration. Today, nobody has all of the answers. Problems change in real time. So it's really important to surround yourself with people who have a different way of thinking, so you collaborate to get the right idea. In innovation, nothing stands still. Sure. We continually change on behalf, it's our obligation to change for the customer, for the member. So you've got to just sense of innovate all the time. And agility, anything can happen. You need to react. You can't be caught in one way of doing things. You have to be willing to change. So there are the three things, and when they come together, they create alchemy. So we are a university in social sciences and management, and I'm eager to know in uh, what is the talents you're looking for. I think there are so many talents you're looking for, but one that I think about is the ability to navigate or deal with ambiguity. Mm -hmm. The world changes so quickly. The facts that were correct yesterday may not be correct today. So the ability to deal with that, and at the same time, the ability to think about the big picture but also to get simple things done quickly. So I think it's that navigating amongst ambiguity. In the past, you selected your employees. Sure. Today, employees select us. So it's hugely important that we create a framework for which they can be successful. By 2020, 75% of the employees of all of the technology companies will be millennials. They're looking for a sense of purpose. They're looking for reason. They're looking for more than just doing what the company is, what's the sense of purpose. So they're really important skills. Absolutely. So my understanding is that you take the notion of purpose for real and not as a managerial fad. So my final question is, what is the purpose of LinkedIn? It's very real. It's not a fad. <laughs> we believe that successful organizations need to have a vision that unites their employees and guides their decisions. Mm -hmm. Our vision is to create economic opportunity for all members of the world workforce. That impacts every decision we make on a daily basis. So including creating the economic graph, creating LinkedIn learning. So how we see it is engaged, passionate employees who are aligned with the vision come and give 110% every day. And as a consequence, they develop skills, they develop their careers, and the organization that they work with create incredible value for their members and their customers. Oh, this is brilliant. So thank you very much, John, for visiting Bocconi University. Not at all. Gian Mario, thank you very much for having me.